Hello everyone and welcome to my channel 2H Combo. I just came back from outside. It is a beautiful day. But I want to show you how I upgrade my laptop. It is a 17 inch LG Gram. I just bought it about a month ago. And I like to add more uh, RAM and also more hard drive space to it. It comes with 16 gigabyte uh, RAM but that's not enough I like to have more also the storage it comes with a 500 gigabyte again that's not enough so I'm gonna add one terabyte to it let's take a look I already opened it up this is inside of the LG RAM this is the RAM right here and this is the uh, storage there are two slots there's one in here already I think it's a uh, 500 uh, gigabyte and I'm gonna add another one right here it's gonna be one terabyte this is the one that I'll be using it's a uh, Samsung 970 Evo it's one terabyte first we need to take this screwed off and then put the RAM right in here I took the cover off so as you can see there's only one way to put this in the screw is gonna go over here the connection is gonna be right here connection here screws goes over here All right, it's in. It's like this. But you need to put the screw back. Make sure it goes all the way in. Alright, so that's the drive, second drive, first drive, second drive, 501 terabyte, Samsung 970 EVO, this one, I don't know what they put, some kind of generic brand, moving on to the RAM right here, this is uh, basically, it's uh, 8 and also it has another 8 that is sawed on so a total of 16 now the computer the motherboard supposed to can only take the max of 24 but i've seen people doing 32 on top of the 8 and people say that it's working fine i also did a research and for this motherboard that's all you can do is 24 so this is uh, you're doing something outside of the recommendation at your own risk basically so all it is there's a clip here and a clip here you just need to remove the clip just to both sides then it pops up not exactly but there you go and then you can just pull it out see that there's a notch here also notice that there are four whatever they are facing this side so when you put it in making sure this is the right side not this side all right otherwise it's not gonna go okay so here's a new one that I bought this is a 32 gigabyte made by Samsung it's a uh, what you call a DDR4 all right let me open it up 
So all they do is this. Like that. <laughs> and then let's see. Cannot be that hard. There you go. Alright, so like I said, it has to go this way, right? Do you go this way? They're not aligned. The notch is right here. So it has to go this way. So make sure it goes all the way in. There you go. It click. Press it down. And these clips come over on top. So that's all. So there you have it. Upgrade 32 gigabyte, one terabyte. So this is the cover that I just removed. So it goes this way. Okay. So when I removed it, I lift this. I lifted this side up first. So it's a good idea to put it back the way I removed it. So it goes from the hinge first. Seems like it just fell right in. Don't even need to do much. There you go. There's some kind of clip, I guess. What else? Maybe just press all around. There you go. That's all. Make sure it's all connected. And then put back the screws. I have all the screws lined up. Right here. Over there. Here are all my screws. So I just need to put them back. You don't really need to see every screw I put in. So let's speed up and go to the next one. Okay, now all the screws are in, there are 11 of them. And then there are covers for each hole. For each hole, but then I don't want to put the covers on yet. Because just in case I need to go back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the computer on and see if it works. If it works, then... I'll put back the cover. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn it on and see if everything works. There we go. Life's good. Alright, looks like it's working. But we're gonna find out if it's gonna recognize all the memories that we just loaded anyway to check what you can do you can just go use some um, not pc cleaner but there is a spec spec c it's made by the same company anyway on my screen you can see there are 40 gigabyte total okay, so the 
second storage doesn't show down. Okay, we time manage. There is uh, computer management and storage. Disk management. Okay, so this screen pop up basically is telling you to format the disk before you can use it. So I just leave it the way it is. Say okay on your mouse. Right click, new simple volume. Okay, this wizard comes up. Welcome to the new simple volume wizard. A simple volume can only be on a single disc. To continue, click. Next. So it's just showing you the size. And that's it. Say next. Assign a letter. Say D. D is good. Say next. And then this is the type of file system. I don't do anything. I just leave it like that. And then check right here. It's already checked. Perform a quick format. Like that. And finish. Okay. Now, if you go to this PC, you see the you see the new drive in here. There's a local C and a new volume D, right? You don't want to call it new volume. You go rename, right click, rename. I'll call secondary, secondary. There you go, secondary. So that's all that simple. So I'm gonna go back and put the covers on the back of the computer. There's some round ones. They are like uh, two, four, six. So I'm gonna put the round one first. They all have glue. All it is, you just drop them in. Like that. They already have sticky stuff, so you don't need to do much. Just press it and it's all in. And then they come with soft leg. Okay. So, look at that. And same thing, it has some sticky glue already. When I removed it, this is what I used. I bought this kit to replace my iPhone battery and it came with some tool. And so you just, you know, lift it up. It's that simple, nothing special. So you have to be careful, one is thicker than the other one. The thicker one is in the back, the thinner one is in the front. So that's the thicker one for the back. And then thinner one for the front. You know, if it doesn't go in right, then you know. And then there's another one right here. It's a round one, like this. So that's all guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. It is really simple. I'll put down the link to the items I bought. Basically, I got them from Amazon.